everybody welcome back to my channel so today's video I am talking about a one and a half year update on my at-home laser hair removal experience so I know this video has been in hot demand for a while and I apologize for taking so much time to get this uploaded uh, I promise I haven't been ignoring you guys. I don't even know if half the people who are asking me these questions and asking for an update video are still watching. If you're still here, thanks for being so patient. So um, what I'm going to do is I just decided to kind of film this on the fly. I already filmed another video today and I thought let's just knock two videos out today. So. Um, I'm going to be going through some of the questions that I've been receiving on my other previous two videos um, and then I will also talk through what my experience has been and yeah, let's just jump right in. Okay, for those of you who don't know, I bought the brown hair removal machine. Um, not even, it's been a year and a half and I still don't know the name correctly, but it's the at-home laser hair removal machine from Brown. It is the first FDA certified at-home hair, laser hair removal device, um, which in my first video, that's one of the things I talk about a lot is the fact that it's FDA certified. So anyway, we're not going to talk about the device or anything like that. I just wanted to talk about, you know, it's been a year and a half. I, I started back in May of 2020. It is now September 2021. So what has been my results? And I will show you live on camera. So this hair here, this is my arm. Um, I, the last time I shaved was three weeks ago. So this is the results after three weeks of um, no hair removal or anything like that. And there's barely any hair now on my arms. Like I don't need to worry about my arms for weeks on end now. Um, they don't grow. They just don't grow. Um, and you can see that it's very, very sparse hairs. Like you would have to be staring at my arm very up close and personal for a while for you to notice any of the hairs. So it's worked phenomenally on my arms. Um, so I'm really, really happy with that. And the underarms, I would say the underarms, it didn't work as effectively. I would say the hair under my arms has gone down by about 80%, which is good. Um, it's not 100%, so it's not like I'm completely hairless there now. But for the large part, it's about 80% gone, meaning that similar to my arms i don't need to go in and shave my underarms as often um you know i'll just need to like kind of the parts that do that have you know not been reduced i still need to touch those up basically with the machine after using it for a year and a half i haven't used it consistently i think i should make that distinction too and i think i said this in my last five month update was that i haven't used it consistently and i'm just being completely transparent um it's not like i've been using it every week i didn't even you know the initial round of treatments it was supposed to be every week for 12 weeks i definitely did not do that i found that to be kind of impossible because um trying to do a full body uh laser every week at home it's a lot of work so I broke it up into pieces and I think that's why my results are not 100%, but I, in general, I'm still very, very happy with it. So when it comes to my underarms, I would skip a couple of weeks. I wouldn't do it for a couple of weeks. So even after all of that, um, the hair down under my arms is about 80% gone, which is great. I am i don't feel like I need to go in there constantly to wax or shave or anything like that. Um, it grows super slow. The hair growth has slowed down a lot in general, which I think is a huge plus. Um, so I've, I've really liked that a lot. Same deal with my upper lip. I don't need to worry about it for weeks on end now. Um, it's a similar result to, it's, it's almost comparable to getting it like waxed, you know, but except you don't have like the painful, you know, redness or, or anything like that that you get after waxing. So I don't need to worry about like my facial hair as much anymore. I don't need to worry about my arm hairs anymore. Um, the legs, same deal. The legs, it wasn't as effective. 
I would say about like 75% of the hair is gone. But again, I just didn't use it as consistently. That's on me. I don't think it's the device. I think that's just user error where, you know, I got lazy. Like we all get lazy. Like I'm, just, I'm being honest here. Like I didn't use it as consistently as I should have. Um, so the legs, you know, first of all, the other thing I should back up and say that I don't really care about the, the hair on my legs as much. I don't wear short skirts. I don't wear skirts at all um, that expose my legs or anything like that. Um, so I don't necessarily need to worry about the hair down there as much. But, you know, it's about like 60 to 75% reduced, which I think is fine. Um, what I will say in general after using this device for this amount of time, Focus on the areas where you know you'll consistently follow through with that 12 week treatment. So let's say if your arm hairs are the one thing that absolutely drives you insane, start with that. Do the 12 week treatment on that consistently because that's when you'll see the results. Um, so that would be my biggest tip when you're getting, if you're considering getting this um, device. Don't try to do your entire body um, right out the gate. I think that's what messed me up where I got lazy because it was a lot of work. Um, so I would do it in pieces, right? Maybe start with your arms um, for the first 12 weeks. Then you'll see the results, right? Then I would move on to my legs, run that for 12 weeks. And by the time you hit like a year, you should have places on your body where you're, you're okay. Like your hair has gone down a lot or completely eliminated. So that would be my tip for using this device. Um, but other than that, I, I'm so happy with it. Like I haven't had to buy any sort of waxing strips. I haven't had to tweeze anything. I haven't had any issues with like ingrown hairs or anything like that. So all in all, I'm still happy with the device. One and a half years later, I think it's a great device. I haven't had any adverse reactions. I haven't had any sort of skin burns, nothing like that. The device has been working fine. I haven't had any technical issues or anything like that. So it's a solid device and I do think it works. So I still recommend it after a year and a half. Um, now I'm gonna get into your questions that you've been asking me so I can again answer them on camera. Um, so yeah, let me go find those and I'll meet you right back here. Okay, so I'm going to just jump right in. I'm starting with my most recent video, which is the five month update. I'm just gonna go down towards the comments. So somebody asked me, and if you hear my neighbors, my window is open and they're kind of talking loud, so I apologize for that. <laughs> um, uh, does the device heat up during treatment? Do you need to stop for it to cool down? And she also asked, how long does it take you to treat your arms and legs? So the device, um, it does warm up, but it doesn't need to be like cooled down or anything like that because you're only using it for a couple of seconds at a time. So for example, for my arms, it takes me like maybe 15 seconds to do my whole arm. So you're not using it for an extended period of time. Um, so I haven't had any issues of needing it like oh, the device overheating or anything like that. Um, so she asked, how long does it take me to treat my arms and legs? If you're not, if you're, I don't know if you're asking in total, like from shaving and all that, but just using the device takes me like two minutes. Um, cause you're really just like gliding it across your skin anyway. Um, somebody else asked, uh, after shaving, I found the hair grows very fast. Um, I don't see how I should wait a week to do the treatments again. Do you shave or remove hairs in some other way between the treatments? So um, this is a good question because if you, it says it in the device manual that in the beginning, when you start these treatments, your hair is gonna grow faster. It's gonna accelerate. So you're gonna feel like the hair is coming back quicker and that's normal. That's what should be happening because what the laser is doing, it's forcing the hair it's like speeding up the hair growth cycle so our hair grows through a cycle where it's a little baby under your skin and then it pops out it grows it grows it grows and then it falls out you know that's just the whole life cycle of the hair so what the laser is doing it's just speeding that up so when you're shaving it's pushing the hair out faster once the hair falls out um, then it should come back slower so in the beginning you're gonna see 
faster hair growth, um, but stick with the treatments and it's gonna go down. Because I noticed that with my arms, I felt like within a couple of days it was coming back, but then afterwards it was like, now it's like, you see it, you know, I don't have any hair. Um, so they're asking if I did anything in between the IPL treatments. No, um, that would mean I'm doing like some sort of hair removal, you know, within a week, it's, it's too much. Like I don't have the patience for that. So I personally didn't do any sort of like hair removal in between the weekly treatments. Um, so that was just me. If you're super conscious about it, I guess you could shave. Um, but I didn't really do anything. I don't know. I don't know if I would recommend it, honestly. Um, just because it's, you know, it's a lot of time and I don't think you need to do it. I think let the laser do its job um, and don't necessarily put extra effort into like making sure like there's no hair coming back in between your weekly treatments. So this next person had a couple of different questions. Um, did you shave your face uh, and did you immediately use the device after shaving or did you wait a day or two? What was the setting for the face and what was the setting for the under, for the legs and underarms? And then they were asking if I can show how I use the device on camera. Okay, so for the first, first question about whether I immediately use the device after shaving my face, I did. Um, you don't wanna wait a day or two because it can, in that time, your hair can start to grow. And so the key with the IPL is that you want a smooth surface. You don't want any hair on the surface of your skin because um, the laser is trying to target the root of the hair. So yeah, use it immediately after shaving. If, you're, if your skin is sensitive and it gets really like irritated, maybe wait a couple of minutes, maybe wait 15, 20 minutes and then you can do it. But yeah, I, I would shave it, take a shower, and then I would come back and in between that time, after I came out the shower, I would just use it. So I didn't have any issues with that. And then um, the setting for my face, I've always to this day, I've used the lowest setting, which is number one. There's three settings. So I would always use it on the lowest setting. Just for me, like it's my face. Um, I don't need like a stronger setting on my face necessarily. So I, I just use it on the lowest setting and that's worked fine for me. Um, on my underarms, I've used, I started with the second, I mean, every section of my body in the beginning, I used the lowest setting just to be safe and see how my hair reacted. But then for the underarms, for the legs, um, I bumped it up to the second and third strongest setting. So, um, and that was fine for me too. Okay, so the next person asked, if this helped reduce pigment on the skin. And this is a question that my friend asked me too. And, and honestly, no, I didn't really notice any difference in pigmentation of like, it didn't get rid of like any sort of like acne discoloration or anything like, you know, some of us South Asian girls, we have like sort of, um, what is it like the greenish pigment that we get, like the hyperpigmentation, it didn't help with any of that. The most that it did, what I noticed, you know, sometimes we get that like f five o'clock shadow is what I like to call it. Um, but you get like that, you know, that greenish uh, undertone when your hair is starting to grow again. It definitely helped with that. And obviously because it's, you know, kind of attacking the hair and getting rid of the pigment that way. But as far as like skin pigmentation, I didn't really notice any difference in, um, you know, you know, my, my skin color lightening or anything like that. So it does, it's, that's not the function of this device. Um, the only thing, the only pigment it's going to get rid of is when it's getting rid of your hair. So that's the only thing. Okay. So the next person asked, does Amazon deliver this in Pakistan? And I've gotten this question a lot, um, both from Pakistan and India and it is now September, 2021. So I know Pakistan has set up fulfillment centers. I know Amazon has set up fulfillment centers in Pakistan. I don't know how developed it is right now. I don't even know if they're like launched yet. So at this point in time, I'm still not sure. I don't think they're delivering to India or Pakistan through Amazon, um, but Again, I will always link Brown's website down below. You guys can try it that way to see if they ship internationally. 
I personally couldn't find any local retailers that sell this machine, so I apologize for that. Um, if I do, I'll make sure to leave it down in the description, but your next best bet is to just buy directly from Brown if they do ship to your um, address. Okay, so the next person asked if I noticed a uh, reduction in the thickness of my hair, and this is a very good question because I think with laser we think that our hair thickness is going to go down and I personally didn't notice a reduction in the thickness of my hair. I, I noticed a reduction in the growth, if that makes sense. So the hair that grows back is the same thickness as it was, but there's less of it growing back. So basically some areas the hair has not grown back at all but the areas that have grown back that you know the very very faint hair that does grow back it's the same thickness so basically what this device does it slows the growth almost down to zero and it does, has nothing to do with like the thickness of your hair so i hope that makes sense okay so this next person asked me um they found the light very annoying like the light that flashes from the device did do i use glasses during it so i actually um in the beginning i didn't and then I swapped, I swiped a pair of um, light, what are those glasses called that block all light? Because um, my dad had eye surgery, so they gave him those glasses to wear in the first couple of days after his surgery. So I just took those from him after he got better, of course. Um, so I use that sometimes, but honestly, you don't need to in the in the device manual. They don't tell you that you need to wear any sort of like protective eye gear. If you feel like it's too bright for you, go ahead, pop on some shades. I don't think you need to buy any sort of like special UV blocking um, glasses or anything like that. The most you can do is if you're doing it during the day, maybe sit by a window so that, you know, the daylight kind of balances out the flash of the laser. Um, if you're finding it very uncomfortable, like I said, feel free to wear a pair of sunglasses, but I don't, I didn't particularly use any, um, you know, special glasses or anything like that. I do have them, but I don't reach for them. Uh, so this next person asked me, they were having issues with, um, you know, ingrown hairs and, and they're on their fourth week now. So I personally did not have any issues with ingrown hairs. Um, and yeah, I didn't really have any issues with that. And I would say if you're having those issues, I would pay attention to the way that you're like shaving and making sure that A, your skin is exfoliated before you shave um, and that your razor is not blunt so that you're getting the closest shave possible because those things are what cause ingrown hairs. It's either like there's buildup of skin or your hair is growing in another direction because you didn't shave it properly. So um, those are the two tips that I can tell you that kind of might help with the ingrown hairs, but I personally didn't have any issues with that. Okay, so this next person asked me how many touch-up sessions do I do um, after the initial 12-week treatments. So I kind of touched on this earlier. For my arms, I don't need to touch-ups every maybe like five to six weeks if that um so yeah it, it varies so i would say like every six seven eight weeks um for my arms maybe my underarms maybe every five weeks and then for my legs um i would say about that like every five to six weeks Somebody else asked, do I treat the skin with ice after the treatments? And I don't, I didn't really find my skin to get irritated or anything like that. It gets slightly warm, but nothing out of the ordinary. But if you are finding it to be sort of, your skin is getting, you know, warmer, feel free to put ice on it just to cool it down a little bit. This is also another good question. If we have acne marks on the skin, can we use the device over those acne marks? Um, I think this is in their manual again they recommend not using the device on any pimples any acne scars um any you know pimples that are just like sort of ruptured broken skin that's what they say basically if you have acne scars that are darker in pigment don't use them on there because the laser the way that the laser works it works by um scanning for darker areas on the skin so what you don't want to happen is 
the laser picking up on your acne scar, thinking it's hair, and then adjusting its intensity to target that hair. Um, so you can run the risk of irritating, if not burning your skin a little bit. So don't use it on acne scars. Don't use it on acne itself and don't use it on like recently ruptured skin or anything like that um, because that's all going to irritate your skin and, and it can potentially lead to, you know, burning your skin in that area a little bit. And then one of the other questions that I got a lot was whether this works on darker skin, whether this works on darker South Asian skin, things like that. And what I can tell you is it does work um, they say it works on darker skin tones. Um, I'll pull up the device in a little bit. They do have a little chart where it shows you like if you're if you have black hair, these are the skin tones it will the, the device will work best on. Um, let me actually show you. Hold on. Okay, so I'm just like scooching a little closer. So I hope you can see that. But this is a chart that shows you based on. Let me see. So here it shows you based on your hair color and then this shows you whether or not the device is going to work based on your skin tone so if you have black hair these are the skin tones it will work on it will not work on so i found this chart to be very useful i hope you can see that um can you see that yeah so for somebody with darker black hair um, if you have a very deep skin tone, it may not work. Um, because again, I, I think I just mentioned this, that the way that the laser works is there needs to be some contrast between your skin tone and the tone of your hair so that the laser can pick up on that darker pigmented hair and, it, and you know, a, attack that. Not attack, I don't want to make it sound so, but kind of target that hair. Um, so if you have very dark skin and very black hair, I would say I wouldn't recommend getting this device because it's, it's not going to do what it's, you know, selling itself to do. Um, okay, so I realized in both videos, and I'm sorry, I'm like still new at this, um, I didn't show you guys the actual device and how it works. So I thought I could spend some time showing you guys the device itself. This is what it looks like. Comes in a nice box. I've, I've held onto the box. Um, I'm taking good care of my device. Um, and then when it, whoop, wow, <laughs> just ripped it. Just the first rip after a year and a half, thanks to a video. Um, anyway, so you're gonna pull out the device. It comes in this nice little carrying case. And let me just show you what it actually looks like. So this is what it looks like inside. These are the glasses I was talking about. So these are the glasses that my dad got after his eye surgery and it's supposed to block any light coming in because after surgery your eyes are very sensitive to light. So I guess the name of these are solar shields. Um, I don't know, but if I put them on, you can see that they completely block light from the top, from the sides. They actually look pretty cool. Uh, I might buy a pair just for aesthetics. Anyway, so I have these in here. I don't necessarily use them when um, I'm doing the stuff. So then the device itself, it this is what it looks like. So this is like the power button and you'll you'll see me use it. Comes with the battery adapter and things like that. Um, let me plug this in and show you how this thing works. Okay, so to turn it on, you're just gonna hold down the button and it should light up. Uh oh, haha, <laughs> I didn't even turn on the switch. Hold on, I'll be right back. Okay, so when you plug it in, it should be lighting up like this. It, you know, it's going to be flashing the light. Then you're going to hold down this button to turn it on. So once you hold down the button, all three lights should be on. You can hear the fan going. You can, on at the back, there is a little fan. So you can hear, um, you can feel the air coming out of there. This is to keep your skin cool. And when you turn it on, 
it's going to be on the highest setting. So this is the full strength setting. The third, the three lights means it's on full strength. It'll go down to the second most setting and then the lowest setting. And then once you're ready to uh, use the device, what we're going to do is let's say I just shaved my arm. I'm going to take this, I'm going to press it against my skin and you'll see the sensor adapt sort of kind of pick up on my skin tone and adjust the setting that way and then you're just gonna use this top button here like this um, like that and you're gonna press this button this is how you fire the laser um, and it's just easy as that and in the next area you're gonna do it again press this top button and it's gonna fire the laser so what you can do is you can either go in a stamping motion, you can do it section by section, or what you can do is you can hold this device down, this button down, and just go gliding across your skin, and it's gonna fire the laser a couple of times. I personally didn't like that. I think I have more control when I do it section by section, so I didn't necessarily use the glide mode. But that's basically how you use it. Um, it's pretty simple. Just read the instructions that come with the device and you'll get the hang of it. So anyway guys, I hope this video was helpful. I apologize for taking so much time um, and I hope I answered all your questions. I'm gonna leave a link down below to both Brown's website and the Amazon link where I uh, personally bought the device. So actually no, I bought it directly from Brown's website but now I, they, they're selling it on Amazon. So. I'll leave both links down below. Again, if I find a retailer in India or Pakistan that is selling this device, I will leave their links down below as well. Thanks for watching guys as always. Be sure to hit the subscribe button if you aren't already subscribed. Hit the like button and I'll see you in the next video.